Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Katie's weekly Trader Joe's hauls. This week I'm going to be showing you guys like I always do all the new stuff that came in this week also all the seasonal stuff. There is a lot of seasonal stuff that's starting to show up and things that I forgot about. One of them being the rosemary mix which I'm going to be showing you guys in this haul and um Definitely one of the new things that I'm so excited to try in this week's taste test is the everything but the leftover seasoning. So if you guys are new, I do Trader Joe's hauls every week showing all the new items and all the seasonal stuff for the week. So if you're new, subscribe, turn on the bell notification. You don't want to miss out on all the holiday stuff that's coming in. It's coming fast and it's leaving even faster this year. So make sure that you're staying up to date um, by subscribing to my channel. Also, I wanted to mention, I really appreciate those of you that take the time to give my videos a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out and it shows me all the love. So I appreciate you guys that do that. Um, having said that, let's go ahead and check out today's short little Trader Joe's haul. Starting right here with the hummus that my family and I love. This is just the Mediterranean style hummus. Benson loves this, I love it, and Tim loves it. So if you want something that's like really yummy and it's like an easy starter hummus because it doesn't have crazy flavor or anything, this is probably your best bet for that. Um, I also grabbed some more everything croissant rolls. These are seriously so delicious and amazing. Soft, fluffy, and flavorful. Everything you want in a croissant. So yeah, these are back um, in my kitchen because I actually gave the last two to my mom because she loved them too. So grab some more of those. Look what came into Trader Joe's, some dragon fruit. I cannot wait to try this. I'm gonna cut this um, open in the taste test to show you guys what the inside looks like if you haven't seen it before. Um, and we'll do a little taste test on that. Um, got a green bell pepper and then look what's back at the store. Nuts about rosemary mix. So this came out, I believe last year, maybe the year before that. Um, but this is a great little nut mix that has a very rosemary flavor because there's tons of rosemary in it. Um, but it has a almonds, cashews, hazelnuts, and pecans accented with the flavor of rosemary. So if you guys like it, um, or if you like this last year, grab it. And if you like rosemary, you might want to pick one up. These apples are here for the fall. They're the Autumn Glory apples. Sweet cinnamon caramel. That sounds amazing. Um, so I wanted to grab these just to try them and see how they are. I love that apples are coming back into season right now and all the really fun yummy apples are coming in. A lot of you guys have asked me about the pink apples, like when you cut them open, they're pink inside. Um, I haven't heard anything and I haven't seen anything yet um, about them coming in, but of course, once I do, I'm definitely gonna be sharing that with you guys and I'll cut one for you to see what the inside looks like. Got some more avocados. I got some strawberries this week. I'm actually gonna be doing strawberries dipped in chocolate with Benson just as like a fun little activity and also, um, delicious. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I uh, got some fruit snacks because Benson is completely out of fruit snacks. So grab these. These are from Trader Joe's. Um, we get some of them from Costco too, but these, what I like about them is that they do not stick to your fingers. They're not like sticky fruit snacks. They're dry. So Benson's hands stay pretty clean when he eats these. Um, the gluten-free stuffing is here. A lot of you guys um, love this gluten-free stuffing. It's now back at Trader Joe's. I showed last week the regular stuffing, um, and now the gluten-free is here as well. Grab two of my favorite drinks right now, actually, I should say, because um, this cold-pressed pineapple juice is so, so yummy. It tastes straight up like you're drinking juice from a pineapple. And then this is the organic coconut water. This is so refreshing and just very, like, subtle sweetness. It's amazing. I love this. I've been like hooked on it lately. I picked up these two yogurt smoothies. If you guys know, you know, this is my kid's favorite um, little breakfast morning drink that he has every single morning. So I got the wild berry and the strawberry. There's also a peach flavor that is a full fat version of this. Um, these are just Benson's two faves. So yeah, they're the 
uh, yogurt smoothies in the refrigerated section by the yogurts. <laughs> We got this back in this year, the Antipasto Assortment. It has um, some salami here, mixed olives, mild salami nuggets, and unexpected cheddar. So if you guys need a little quick charcuterie, here you go. This is super simple and easy. This has very much so become a staple at our house. I pretty much use this in so many different meals. It's super versatile. These are just the Smart Tenders. It comes in a pack of six, and they are like air sealed in here. You guys wanna see what they look like. Um, but since I'm vegetarian, it's hard because Tim is not, but he likes these. He'll eat these, so I feel like I found a winner. They're very basic. They don't have any flavor. They're, they're bland, so if you're preparing these, I love adding the, the vegan chickenless seasoning to these. They are It's perfect, and I just kind of saute them in a bowl until they're brown all around the edges, and I put them in like my salads. I made fajitas the other night with them. I put them in my... Um, chicken tikka masala recipe that I make. So yeah, it's just very, very versatile. Moving on, um, I showed this guys in a past haul and this is the shredded pizza seasoned Toscano cheese. This is so good if you want a really flavorful pizza, but you're just doing like a cheese pizza or just doing like I like cheese and tomato on top. This cheese has all the flavor you need and you really don't need much more on your pizza. So um, grab that for this weekend. Also, this is a brand new item that just came in. Everything but the leftovers seasoning blend. Um, I am so curious to try this and I also don't even think, I can't even think of like what I want to um, make and put this on. I'm really excited to try this and see what this would go well with. I'm gonna read this real quick. It says it's um, savory melange of spices and herbs that give a nod of traditional to a traditional meal. It um, can be used over potatoes, eggs, meat, and vegetables. Okay, great. Surprisingly good movie treat. Try it over popcorn or toasted nuts. So it sounds like it'll go pretty much with anything, um, but I'm excited to try that. And then a, a few of you guys were asking about the breaded turkeyless roast, and this is also back. So if you guys are vegan or vegetarian and you enjoy having like a little turkey roast for Thanksgiving, go ahead and grab this. This is frozen, so you guys can keep it in your freezer until Thanksgiving. You don't have to worry about it, you know, going bad in your fridge by the time Thanksgiving hits. But I remember last year these flew off the shelves. People were so upset when they were gone. So fair warning, if you see it at your Trader Joe's and you guys are thinking about it, pick it up now. Um, I'm telling you, this this year has been so weird with items just coming and going super fast, especially the seasonal items. So I'm um, trying to give you guys all a fair warning and a heads up to pick up things that you would normally wait a little closer to Thanksgiving. Just get them now and give yourself peace of mind. So that's my two cents about that. Now to the end, which is the frozen items. This is a kind of a small haul, but that's fine. Um, these are the three new frozen items that just came in this week. We've got the creamed greens with Brussels sprouts, kale, and Parmesan cheese. Um, everyone that I work with was not very thrilled about this picture. They all thought it wasn't very appetizing, which, you know, Maybe not so, but we'll see how it tastes in the taste test. Um, here's the back if you guys wanted to see the nutrition facts. And then here are the ingredients on the back. It does contain milk and wheat. Now we've got the fried olive bites. I know a lot of people are super excited to try this, but it's breaded Kalamata olive pieces with cheese filling. These look amazing. Oh my gosh, I love olives, so this is like right down my alley. Again, another frozen item. So you heat those in the oven. There's the instructions for you guys. I'm gonna do mine in the air fryer because it's just quicker and it, it does it perfectly. So, um, and then here's the back here. So you guys get the nutrition facts and the ingredients. It does contain mil milk, egg, and wheat. And then the last frozen item is the scallopini potatoes, creamy gratin of potatoes with four cheeses. Um, this looks so good. I love scallop potatoes, so I'm hoping that these are similar to a scallop potato, and I know that there's a fresh version of this as well. That hasn't come in yet, so we've, we're working with this. I'm seeing right here there's animal rennet, so I guess I'm not going to be trying it all well, 
Tim will be very happy to try it. Um, but here we go. Here are the nutrition facts for you guys to see. Yep, so there you guys have it. The three new frozen things and the vegan turkey that's back. All right, so this is it for this week's haul. It was small, but lots of goodies in there. Okay, I know that was a quick little Trader Joe's haul, but sometimes those short ones are exactly what you need to get through the week and make a short little list. Um, if you guys are ready to see those new items I showed you guys, make sure to check out tomorrow's video. Myself, my husband, and my son will be in that taste test and we will give you guys the 411 on how all these new items taste and um, if they're good or if they're not so good. There is a surprise about the wine this week. Um, You'll just have to watch the taste test if you want to find out about the wine. Um, anyways, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for subscribing, turning your bell notification on, and giving these videos thumbs up. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!